Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do real quick is we are going to take a look at a new access point. And it fits in this box. You're probably wondering, well, what, what access point fits in a in a low profile low profile box like this? Well, it is the Grandstream GWN7604. <clears throat> now, this is not exactly an in-wall AP, but it is a small form factor AP that can be mounted on a faceplate. Um, it can be set on a desk, mounted under a desk. You could mount it on the wall, things like that. When I show you this, where I imagine this being mounted or set is maybe next to a set-top box, maybe next, you know, to the to the you know on a wall next to a desk, things like that. So in the box, you get a copy of the Quick Start Guide, which has several languages, and then you get a mounting template, and it is always very much appreciated when manufacturers send these mounting templates. It makes our lives much, much easier. And then you get a couple of screws and you get um, the anchors to go into the wall. And then, of course, you get uh, the access point itself. So let's take a look at this. So this is not like an in-wall access point. This is a different format. And I don't know what to call this. Maybe, um, maybe desktop or something like that, but it's got the logo there. It says Wi-Fi 6. You got some ports on the back that we're going to talk about here in just a second. Let's see if we can get this to cooperate with us. All right, so first on the bottom, here are your mounting holes right there. It also comes with the rubber feet already installed. It is a great looking device. Then along the top, you have your PoE input port and then three LAN ports. And you'll notice these are all different colors. We'll come back, back to that here in just a second. You have a reset button, and then you have a power adapter plug right here on the back. So these ports, if you're using just PoE, um, you only get you know the four gigabit ports. Obviously, this one's going to power it and provide the data, and then you would get these three gigabit ports here. If you combine it with a power adapter, a PSE, uh, then you get PoE out on these other ports. That's my understanding. We're getting ready to deploy these uh, in a brand new build. Uh, someone I know is uh, just finished their house. They just moved in, and these are the access points that they are looking at. Now, there's a big difference. If, you, if you've noticed, uh, Grandstream had this format previously, but that device could not... Um, manage other access points with this AP. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this in so we can take a look at it. With this AP, they have changed that. So previously, with the other model, you had to either adopt it to an access point or to GWN Manager, GWN Cloud, or a GCC or a GWN Router. This can actually manage other APs. Let's take a quick look at the specs here. So it is the 7604. It's got dual band Wi-Fi 2x2 on the 2.4 gig and 3x3 on the 5 gig. Moo me mo. Can support up to 256 concurrent clients and 100 meter coverage. As with any manufacturer, your mileage may vary. Supports all of the things that the other Grandstream access point support, such as Captive Portal, um, and you can see right here, it says self power adaption upon auto detection of PoE, PoE plus and the power supply, the external power supply. And if we scroll down, you're going to get all of those great Wi-Fi six speeds. And when we get down to, <clears throat> oh yeah, you can do 16 SSIDs. Per radio, if for some reason you have a need or you think you have a need for 16 SSIDs per radio, 32 per access point, reach out to us. Let's talk about that because that chews up a lot of resources no matter who the manufacturer is. So you can see right here, network interface. Um, you have uh, 
the one gigabit with uh, PoE, PoE Plus. Then you have uh, two gigabits uh, with the PSE. It's got a Kensington lock on the back of it. Um, and you can do indoor wall mount, and it does have that kit included. But once you start digging into this, you can see you could actually mount this on a faceplate on a one gang um, uh, wall box. It does provide QoS, and anybody who's been following us for a long time knows that when we do voice over Wi-Fi, we use GrandStream end to end to ensure that your voice over Wi-Fi is going to work the way that it should. Network management embedded controller can manage up to 50 local GWNAPs. That was not the case with the previous iteration of this. And then, of course, you can do GDMS uh, manager or GDMS.cloud or GCC or uh, GWN router. There is a total 12 watt power output for those two um, other ports. And the maximum power consumption excluding PoE output is 7.5 watts. It is, I think it's a handsome device. Real quick, let's take a look at what it looks like. This is my GCC. So if I hit pair AP, it found it on the network. I can go ahead and pair it. It's going to go ahead and take my SSIDs and all of my settings. Now, whether it's a GCC, a GWN, GWN manager, or GWN.cloud, that's the way, it, you know, when you adopt it in, that's what it's going to do. Uh, it's going to take those site settings. Of course, you can override those per AP, per site, things like that. Now, uh, let's see if I can get this uh, interface to come up. Let's see. I did not re reboot it. So here's the thing. So I'm on this, this login page. Once I enter the admin username, which is admin, and then on the back of this, as with every GrandStream device, there's a default password. Once I enter that, it's gonna knock it out of the eligibility to be adopted easily uh, into a controller or a router. So once I do this, the light on the front is uh, gonna go from uh, purple, which means we are waiting to adopt it's going to go to uh, it's going to go to blue, and then I either have to factory default it or I have to uh, maybe try to do some sort of takeover or something like that. So I'm just going to show you real quick um, that if we enter these default credentials, because I, I couldn't believe it when when they sent this over and thank you Grandstream, when I saw the format of it, I thought okay I'm going to have to I'm going to have to adopt this. This thing can't. Uh, manage other APs, but no, with this model, it has much more uh, horsepower than the previous generation, and you can now manage up to 50 APs. And let me see if I can show you now, real quick, while that loads. Now you can see, maybe you can't, but that light is blue. It was purple, and now it's blue. So we're just going to run through the interface real quick just to show you that. Uh, Look, it is the same interface as every other GrandStream access point. You can see it's discovering my other access points. I'm not going to let it manage those. Those are managed by my uh, GCC. Um, but here we can take a look. And it has itself because we haven't tried to do a takeover of any of those, those other ones. Um, and so we would set this up just like any other GrandStream access point where it's either going to manage other access points um, or you can set it up independently. But it, you can see it has all of the other devices. And by the way, GrandStream does have rogue AP detection, um, which is nice when used appropriately. You have to use it appropriately. But if you just cruise through all of these uh, settings, you'll see it is exactly the same. So they took the power of those other APs and they put it in this nice in this nice little package. So I'm actually going to factory default it because I am going to join it to my GCC uh, 6010. So if I come down here to maintenance and I hit this factory reset button, 
it tells me I'm going to lose all of the settings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adopt it into the GCC. So right now I've got the green light and as soon as it's purple, I'll be able to adopt it in. I'm going to pause this while that happens. We're going to adopt it in and we'll run a speed test from my phone. So stay tuned. All right. So I now have <clears throat> the GWN 7604 paired with, um, with my uh, GCC. And what I'm going to do is since I am right here, I'm going to turn my uh, Wi-Fi off temporarily. And I am going to uh, reconnect because it's it's literally just right here. So it should, in theory, connect to this AP. And I've got full bars, so I'm assuming that I am uh, connected. Yep, Willy phone right there. So we'll go back over to the AP management. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on here and I'm going to run a speed test. Um, so I, in theory, have gigabit down and 50 meg up. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Sometimes you can be too close to an AP and uh, my speed test is still trying to find a provider. And let's see what happens here says it's connecting and I am at 240 250 download and I will uh, see what the upload does here now I might have to go in and tweak this a little bit off the top of my head I can't remember what I've got the radio settings to but a single client on this is getting um let's see here oh there's all kinds of ads on here teenage mutant ninja turtles is going to be a thing again huh so i got 226 down and uh, 45.5 up so i don't know what i would get on a pc if i ran it but we could i mean that's gigabit you know wired so um i'm not i'm not displeased with this i'm going to have to do a lot more testing and like I said, uh, someone is going to use these in their in their house instead of uh, in wall APs. They are going to try try these out and see how it goes. If you've got any questions about these, let me know down in the comments or head on over to our community and ask your questions about it. I'm going to continue to test it. I've got it written down to follow back. Um, especially they'll put out some new firmware and things like that. Thanks thanks again to Grandstream for sending this out. I really like the look of this device. I can see this used in uh, conference rooms, places uh, you know, like hotels where there's a set-top box where you've got everything right there. Maybe you want to power an IP phone uh, as well. So you could really pair these things together. And, and the aesthetic on it, it's it's just it's just nice. It's just it's just nice. So and also MSRP on this, you can pick this access point up. For about $69.99 USD. So it is not crazy expensive for what we might be able to get out of this. So if you've got any more questions about this access point, the GWN 7604 Wi-Fi 6AP, let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form that's on the front page. We can help you with your Wi-Fi, your, uh, your wired networking, your storage, your security, your cameras, voice over IP, all the things. Reach out. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. And we often refer when things are outside of our wheelhouse. And like I said, head on over to community.willyhow.com and join the conversation. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.